Okay, are we together? So I'm going to stop projecting this one and then I'll project this specified file, right? So please, it is advisable, I've been saying it, it is advisable for you to use a laptop during this class, okay? So that you can work along with me. In case you are not able to do that, in case you are not able to do that, try to do it on your mobile, on your mobile phone. It might be difficult doing it on your mobile phone, okay? Um, if you cannot do that, the least you can do is try and write as we go along, as if you are in the classroom, okay? Try and write as you go along, because if you just want to follow, you might not be able to catch up. But if you start, if you start writing and using your calculator, you know, there is no problem. That's the third option. But what I want ideally is to open your laptop and walk along with me, okay? So um, this is a long question, and it is a past ACCA question. Uh, if ever you are going to get any question uh, on, a, on uh, ABC and absorption costing in exams or in tests, it's going to be in this form, okay? It's going to be in this form, uh, because my questions are always exam type questions. And, uh, I make sure that they are as qualitative as possible because I'm giving it to people who are highly qualitative, isn't it? Don't you agree with me? Thank you, we do agree. Good. And uh, you know, quality goes with cost. <laughs> so if you agree with me, <laughs> if you agree with me, this quality will go with what? A bit of, um, well, not difficult, but um, it will never be straightforward, okay? It will never be straightforward. Okay, so um, I will read the question and uh, we try to um, go ahead and do it. Um, Hensau Limited has a single production process for which the following costs have been estimated for the period ending 31st December 2010. Okay, material received and inspection cost, power cost, material handling cost, okay, with their respective, you know, cost. So what do you think these costs are? Are they variable cost or they are overheads? Do you think they are variable cost or they are overheads? I think they are very yeah, I think they are overheads, huh? Eh? Ibrahim is saying they are they are they are variable. How can they be variable? They, they, we, yeah, we did, they, you know, if you say something is variable, it will vary with an activity level. It will vary with a product. In this case, our products are XYZ. They didn't say anything about those uh, products. So naturally, these are overheads because everybody's business. Okay, so they are naturally overheads. And the overheads are based on what? Activities. Because material receipt and inspection is an activity. Powering is an activity. Material handling is an activity. Okay, so they are definitely overheads. Okay, so three products. Three products. Yes. Yes, that's Someone right. could argue that Someone could argue that the more material you produce, the more the handling will be, and it will vary with the amount of material you produce. Someone can argue that. It's but this not only material. material, this is not material handling, it's material receipt and inspection. Okay, you're talking about the last one, material handling. Yes. Okay. The more material, well, yes, it, it, is, it is a possibility. You can argue that it, it, may, de it may depend on the, on the no number of materials. But the number of materials also is not your activity level. The number of materials does not determine your number of products. 
Okay? Activity level, we're talking about objects, products, or services. You, you understand what I mean? So fine, it yeah. may vary with the number of materials, but it will not vary with the number of products produced because the more material you have doesn't mean the more, mater the more products you're going to get. Is that not the case, Babuka? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's right. Good. Okay. Right. Right. So uh, we say three products, X, Y, and Z, are produced by workers who perform a number of operations on material blanks using handheld electrically powered drills. The workers are paid four pounds an hour. Okay. So the wage for the workers is four pounds an hour. See? Um, the following budgeted information has been obtained for the period ending 31st December 2009. Product X, product Y, product Z. Production quantities for each of them have been stated, 2,500, The batches of material, okay, 10, 5, and 16, okay? And uh, every other data that comes below is uh, unit data. So that's why it says data per product unit. Mate uh, direct materials are in square meters. Okay, four meter square, six meter square, three meter square. Direct material cost are uh, five pound per unit, three pound per unit, six pound per unit. Direct label, mind you, it says in brackets minutes. But look at the direct label cost. Is it in minutes? Is the direct, direct label cost in minutes? It says that workers are paid four pound an hour. And the number of hours they work, the number of hours for each unit is in minutes. So take note of it. So what, what are you going to do in order to calculate? In divided in by minutes, 60. So hours in, in, order order to, the hours minutes. in order to calculate, we must convert the minutes to hours. Simple. OK? You cannot compare apples with pears when you are calculating, but you compare apples with apples, okay? The rate that is given is per hour, and you cannot use minutes in the calculation, but you turn the minutes into hours. Right. Uh, the number of uh, drill operations, power drill operations, 632, is also per unit. Okay, it went further. Overhead costs for material receipt and inspection, process power and material handling are presently each absorbed by product units using rates per direct labor hour. So currently, what is the costing regime in place? What's the costing regime in place? What costing technique is Hensau using at the moment? We've been told in just this paragraph, they're currently using absorption costing. That's why it says the costs are absorbed by product units using rates per direct labor hour. And what's the absorption rate that is used here? What's the activity level that's used in calculating the OAR? It will be label hours, isn't it? Direct label hours. Is that clear? Okay, so it continued. Is it an activity based costing investigation has revealed that the cost drivers for the overhead costs are as follows? Okay, the first part is the activity, and the second column is the, uh, uh, the cost drivers for that respective activity. For example, material receipt and inspection is the activity. The number of badges of material is the cost driver, and so on and so forth. Require, A, prepare a summary which shows the budgeted product cost per unit. Product cost per unit. For each product, X, Y, and Z, for the period of December 2010, Detailing the unit cost for each cost element using one, the existing method for the absorption of overhead costs 
okay? So weak in actual say, it did not tell you to use absorption costing, but you know definitely that it is absorption costing that I should use. And two, an approach which recognizes the cost drivers revealed in the activity-based costing investigation. Look at that also, how it's nicely worded. Instead of telling you to use ABC, but it says in an approach that recognizes cost drivers in an, in an activity base. So that tells you that you need to use ABC. Then B is to comment on your, uh, uh, on your, on your findings uh, and, to talk, and to talk on the cost drivers. Okay, so I hope you understand the question. Shall we, shall we start the answer then? Okay, so we start the answer. Do you understand the question? Yes. Okay, so Fatou, yes, you say you understood the question. What are the requirements of the question, please? 